everybody, welcome to our channel, Live in Richmond, Virginia, where we show you exactly what it's like to live, work, eat, and play right here in RVA. If you're here, then you must want to know the good, the bad, and the ugly about living in Short Pump. Well, in this video, I'm not holding anything back, and I'm going to tell you the real pros and cons of living in the Short Pump area. Be sure to stay to the end so that you have all the information you need to help you decide if Short Pump is right for you. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome. I'm Taylor Jefferson, and not only am I a real estate broker here in Richmond, but my wife Sarah and I actually lived in Short Pump for five years, so we know exactly what it's like to live in this area. Now, if you're thinking about moving to Richmond, definitely hit us up. We've helped tons of families relocate here, and we can make your move stress-free and easy. Be sure to download our free Richmond Relocation Guide, which is full of great information. The link is in our banner and in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, you have to subscribe to our channel, because every week we're going to be posting new videos all about living in Richmond, including more top neighborhoods, family-friendly activities to do, pros and con list, and more. We have so many great videos in the works right now. With all that said, though, let's jump into today's video, the real pros and cons of living in Short Pump, Virginia. So, quickly, Short Pump's an area in Henrico County's West End, and it's best known for the Short Pump Town Center, which was opened in 2003. And since then, the Short Pump area has only continued to grow and expand. So this brings me to my very first pro. Pro number one, Short Pump is probably the most amenity-rich, commercially developed area in all of Richmond. And it all started with the Short Pump Town Center, which is an open-air mall with almost 140 stores. But get this, there are even shopping centers around the perimeter of the mall, with even more stores and restaurants. And the mall isn't all that Short Pump has to offer. Just travel along West Broad Street from Highway 64 exit to the Highway 288 exit, and it's a total of about three and a half miles. You're going to pass tons of awesome restaurants, some of the best grocery stores, as well as a Target and a Walmart. There's also a Home Depot, a Lowe's, Best Buy, Home Goods, and a Cabela's, multiple hotels, gas station, and a ton of entertainment options too. And that was just along West Broad Street. But this does get me to my first con. So con number one, traffic. Specifically traffic along this section of Broad Street between 288 and 64. Now ultimately I don't think the traffic is that terrible, but for the first few stoplights right off the 64 exit, it's definitely congested during rush hour and certain times during the weekend when everyone's out and about in short pump. So if you have to go from one end to the other, I would suggest just taking the highway instead or using back roads to avoid uh, this part abroad. Keep in mind that all of this is relative, and if you've ever lived in Atlanta or Northern Virginia or California, you'll probably laugh at what we consider bad traffic to be in Richmond. Now Christmas shopping season. Uh, forget about this part of Broad Street. It is a nightmare then. While I'm on the topic of bad traffic, another traffic-related con to short pump living is the short pump exit from Highway 64 is awful, and it really needs to be larger than it is. It was probably adequate for when it was built and could accommodate the traffic back then, but now during rush hour, this exit actually backs up, slowing traffic drastically in the right lane of Highway 64. And because the exit dumps you off right in front of a stoplight in Broad Street, it can get sketchy sometimes. Add in the fact that most Virginia drivers are terrible at merging, and you can definitely see there's a problem here. Anytime I'm merging onto or off this exit, I'm always on high alert and checking my blind spot. So pro number two is that Short Pump has some of the best restaurants in Richmond. And you know what it used to be if you wanted to visit one of the cool independent spots, you had to go down into the city. Well, now there are a ton of these same restaurants that have opened a second location here. Some of these restaurants include The Daily, Mellow Mushroom, Terrence, The Boathouse, Capital Ale House, Burger Bach, Casa del Barco, and more. But Short Pump doesn't just have replicas, it also has some of its own great restaurants, such as Red Salt, Rock Bottom Brewery, and Cooper's Hawk. There are truly too many to mention for the purpose of this video, so we'll be doing a future video about the best restaurant and date night spots in Short Pump, so be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss it. The next benefit to living in Short Pump is that the school systems here are top rated. Lots of families seek to buy a home in this area specifically for that reason. Henrico County's West End public school system does not disappoint. The school systems are listed here, so be sure to visit greatschools.org and look at the ratings for yourself. Now, while on the subject of school systems, I guess this can be a con as well. Maybe you have a really smart kid. Well, they might not stand out in the West End school systems. It is very competitive, and a 4.0 GPA student won't be winning any awards here. They'll get lost in the mix. There are lots of overachieving kids crushing the bell curve. So if your child has plans to be valedictorian, just be aware it won't be easy here. So let's talk about the houses in this area themselves. This brings me to pro number four. There are lots of beautiful neighborhoods with mature tree-lined streets throughout the Short Pump area. These older neighborhoods benefit with the additional curb appeal because the developers didn't nuke the land 
and then just plant the standard one dogwood tree and here's a few shrubs in the front yard, like many throw-and-go neighborhoods have been doing. Immediately, Wellesley comes to mind because the streets are beautiful and they're just a great place for a family walk or a bike ride. You don't feel like you're near a major metro city at all. And that's pro number five. Despite how the neighborhood might make you feel like you're worlds away from the hustle and bustle of city life, you're only a few minutes away from anything and everything you could ever need. The short pump area has the most amount of grocery stores clustered in a small radius, so no matter what neighborhood you live in, you won't ever have to travel very far for a grocery run. But it's not just groceries. Practically everything is only a five minute drive away. And with highway access in the west with 288, or further east with Highway 64, getting to a highway for commuting elsewhere is very easy. Here is the downside though. Con number three is that it's expensive to live here. Homes command a premium in this area because of all the benefits I just mentioned. The top rated school systems, the convenience to all the amenities, the easy access to highways, all play a factor in making short pump very expensive to buy a home in. Now, there are homes that will fit almost every budget, but you might not like what you get within your budget. Be sure to check out our Best Neighborhoods in Short Pump video to learn more about that, or reach out to us if you have any questions. While on the subject of homes, Con 4 has to do with the new construction options in Short Pump, or I should say the lack thereof. Because Short Pump is so developed, land comes at a premium here, and there isn't much left that hasn't traded hands yet. So this is a multifaceted con. First, many new construction options in Short Pump are either townhome communities, because developers can pack more units onto a smaller parcel, or the single family options have yards that are very small. There is one newer construction neighborhood in Short Pump that I think really illustrates what I mean, and it's in the Bakova area, which is simultaneously a great location and a terrible one because of the awful view of 64 from your backyard. Now, of course, not every house had that view, and overall, this neighborhood is super convenient to everything. It's a great location. It just comes with the obvious visible con of the highways in your backyard. Tell me, could you overlook this to live here? Leave me a comment and let me know. So if the yard isn't tiny, and if there isn't a highway in your backyard, well, then the kick is it's probably going to be crazy expensive to build here. Again, with land at a premium, builders pass that cost on to you, so when you build a home in the short pump area, expect to pay top dollar. This con can be entirely avoided, though, by buying a resale home instead of building, but then you don't have a chance to design the home that you want. So you see, everything has its mix of pros and cons. So back to pros. Number six, and one of our favorite parts of living in Short Pump, was that there's always so much entertainment and family-friendly activities to do here. You'll never run out of fun things to do nearby, whether it be paid or free. Drive Shack just opened up, and Dave & Buster's has been here for a while. There's a large movie theater, and God, I can't wait to go back and see a real movie again. Uh, also, Short Pump has some of the best gyms around. Sarah and I go to ACAC in Short Pump, and it's super nice. We also love that they have a kid zone where we can leave our daughter while we work out. Uh, ACAC has a rooftop pool and bar, which is a ton of fun during the summer. There's an American Family Fitness also in Short Pump. It's really large and really nice as well. I've got to mention Deep Run Park because we go there all the time. The walking trails are great and the playgrounds are top notch. And you know I've mentioned Hardywood West Creek a million times before, but for good reason. It is so nice to go there and grab a beer and hang out. Definitely put Hardywood West Creek on your to-do list. All right, this is the last con. So con number five is that some of the neighborhoods have really strict HOAs. And I mean strict, like, like you need permission to paint your own front door a certain color strict. Now, some people like that because they view that it helps maintain their property value. And I will say that in those neighborhoods, there are no junky houses. Everything does look great. But I know that strict HOAs can be a deal breaker for many buyers because it's your house and you really don't want anybody telling you what you can or can't do with something you're paying for. Now, I think that Short Pump is absolutely one of the best places to live in Richmond but it obviously was not without its cons. It's up to you to determine if the pros outweigh the cons. So leave us a comment, let us know. Is this somewhere you could live? Why or why not? If you're thinking about buying a home in the short pump area, be sure to reach out to us. We got your back and we'll let you know the good, the bad, and the ugly. Be sure to subscribe to our channel because every week we're gonna be posting new videos all about living in Richmond and we've got lots more coming up. Thanks for being here with me today and I'll see you next time.